So let me show you how to create access keys. So I'm going to click on my username, Stefan, and I'm going to go under security credentials. I will scroll down and I will create an access key. As you can see, there are some selection you need to do. And based on the selection I'm doing, for example, I want to access key for the CLI, AWS is going to have an alternative recommended. For example, for the CLI, it's better to use Cloud Shell, which I will show you in the next lecture, so don't worry about it, or to use the CLI v2 and an authentication through the IAM Identity Center, which I will not show you because it's a bit more complicated. So based on what you want to do, if it's local code, application running outside of AWS or in AWS and so on, you will have some recommendation in the bottom. For now, we're going to use the CLI and we will use these access keys and we'll click here to say, I understand the above recommendation and I still want to create an access key because it is important for you to understand how they are, what they, how they work, what they are and so on. So let's create this access key. And now this is the only time you'll be able to have access to the access key and the secret access key. So I will go back now to a previous version of that lecture where you see the old UI, but don't worry, nothing changes from that point on. The first thing I have to do is to configure my AWS CLI. So I'm going to type AWS configure, and then I am greeted with entering my access key ID. Very nice. I can just enter this one and press enter. And then I'm greeted with entering my secret access key, which I will enter right here as well. The default region name. So this is a region that is close to you. I will choose EU West one because I will be doing all my tutorials in EU West one, but you will choose your own region and you can enter your own region name that the, re the region name, by the way, you can get directly from this drop down right here. It shows you the name of the region as well as the region code. So for me, I'm going to use my EU West one. I'll press enter. And then the default output format, I'll just press enter as well. So now my AWS CLI is configured. And so we can have a look at how it works. We can do AWS IAM list users and press enter. And this will list all the users in my account. And as we can see, the user I have right now is called Stefan. Here is the user ID. Here is the ARN when it was created and when the password was last used, which is very similar to what I would get if I were to go into this UI right here. So the management console and the CLI do provide similar kind of information. Next, I want to show you what happens if we remove permissions from our users. So I'm going to go to admins and I'm going to remove the Stefan user from the group admin. And so again, if I go back to my user, Stefan, it doesn't have any permissions. And I did this obviously with my root account, not the other accounts. So now if I go into my UI and obviously refresh this page, I'm going to get an error saying that, yes, I do not have the permissions to do this. But let's try to do the same thing with the CLI. So we're going to do an IM list user call and we get no response because actually it was being denied. So the CLI permissions are obviously going to be the exact same as the permissions you get from the IM console. So the takeaway from this lecture is that you can access AWS using the management console or using access key and secret access key that you can configure and then use into the CLI. So hope you liked it and I will see you in the next lecture. And obviously do not forget to add your user back into uh, the group. Otherwise that would be horrible. So I'm going to go into groups, admins, and I'm going to add my Stefan user back into my group. And now I am an administrator again. So that's it. I will see you in the next lecture.